cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. Here we go, here we go. Mahomes now on first down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Flushed out right. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And this one is incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. To throw once more on second and 10. Mahomes. And he'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Mahomes to throw once more. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, live to fight another down, right? Being chased out left. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock is going off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. On first down, Mahomes flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10. Mahomes going to throw. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. It is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire taking it in from seven yards to, to away. This goal line. And the Chiefs it's very are going to take to cover Kelsey. the first quarter lead. Seeing him go open on this field. 
They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it. Because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Watson out to the flat here for Johnson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw is Watson. Eluding the pressure right. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 32-yard line. Rolling to his right. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. So now a fresh set of downs. First and ten after roughing the passer. Back to throw. Watson. They'll roll him out right. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. Six nothing our score after one. Here's second and ten. Now it's Watson. And that's complete to Cooks. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And he is going to have a Texans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Watson, he fakes to Johnson and now looks to throw. And I think the ball's out. And the ball ends up out of bounds, so it'll be a loss on the play. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. It's Watson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And the Chiefs are going to take over at their own 11 yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, 
really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? He's seeing things before they even open and hurdle and throw. Six yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here's Mahomes to throw, escaping the pressure right. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And he'll work this forward for about three in Miles, second down. down. I'm done to me. Doing too much in the guys. Two minutes okay. remaining in this first half of football. Come down to me. Don't do all like links to us, it's not good. <laughs> a reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Mahomes firing complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 44-yard line. So many times in my career I've heard coaches oh, talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said sure and done. Does. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's second and nine. Now Edwards Alaire. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Heavy set out there on third and one. Mahomes takes it himself. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now they're still a yard short here on fourth. Now the Chiefs bring on their field goal unit. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Can't be true on the drive, yeah. Why not? So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Butker's kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. These two clubs running through their final halftime adjustments. It's just about time to get back at it. And for the call of the second half, we go back out to Houston, H-Town, and Brandon God. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. 
And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Cooks on the quick slant. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Watson's throw there, taken in by Dorsett. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. We have seen this before, yeah, and we know you coaches know preach about you this and work on it all the time. For hits to catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? That's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. And even 100 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Common sense for a reason. Yeah. Believe in this so much. Right back to Edwards Alaire on first down. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he will have a Chiefs first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. No mercy. <laughs> going to set him back five yards. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. And he gets it down to the 32. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Second and five now. Mahomes. He'll sweep this one out to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. 118 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's to his running back, complete. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. I can hear right now that most people in our business are saying, why aren't they running the football? But I happen to agree with this strategy. They've had success all game long. I don't think they should go away from it. Too often, teams go into that protect mode and end up giving away the football. This team has stayed aggressive and is working out for them. They go back to the ground with Edwards Alaire. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Mahomes going to throw it here. Flushed out right. And he's got his big tight end here. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. And how nice is it for him to know that when he gets outside the pocket, he's got a reliable tight end he can go to. So he's able to look his way, find his big target, and set up first and goal. You risk a turnover. Why score? You risk a turnover. Simple as that. You risk a turnover. Force him to burn all three timeouts and take a field goal. There's no way he can beat you then. Force him to burn the timeouts. Because it might still be a two possession game. Either way, it might be a two possession game. But this way, he has no timeouts. I score. Yeah, this is the right time to be conservative. Defense still know. with three timeouts. No. We'll see if they want to use him here the as the kneel down comes. Alright, let's go. 